Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to Retro Lies. Um, as you can see, we got the Mustang here. We got two valve here with its hood open because today we are actually doing its first modification, finally. Um, so I got these lights. They're a set of lights. We are putting on uh, a set of one piece. They're a set of one piece LED halos. And we're gonna get rid of those ugly two piece stocks they are um led halos like i just said they are um clear lens black housing so they're not tinted but i think they look amazing like this anyway check out the stocks and check out these new ones i think that shit looks amazing um so yeah all of that in a few seconds so take off your negative Nice, nice. And get a rag of some sort, a rag, and put it on your negative, so that way it doesn't make any contact with uh, your battery fire. So there you go. And now we can start getting away at these uh, lights. All right, now we got our 11 millimeter, millimeter, I meant to say. I do not think that Oh wow, it's, it actually worked. Okay, now that we're done with this bolt, um, I believe that this light should be able to just pop out. Or not. I think I figured it out. Um, there's a screw right here holding this little tab and um right now taking off this screw okay well i guess not because now the tab is like the screw is like there it's spinning but the tab is like still there and it's like i don't know if i should just break that tab because i'm pretty sure this kit brings the new ones so i think you just literally break this crap off Matter of fact, I think that's just to adjust the light. That's what you do to adjust it. Oh, that sucks. That means I just literally adjusted this crap the complete wrong way. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to do this, but I realized this. But this clip right here goes, is right here on the other side. Let me show you. It's right there. You see this little clip right there, this little tab? You have to get it with some pliers and pull up, just straight up, not sideways, straight up. I was doing it sideways for some reason. So straight up and then this releases. So you see how that's loose now, boom. And now we have to get, let's clip, put it to the side. And now we have to get a wrench of some sort. I'm pretty sure, um, what is it? It was a box wrench or something like that. To get a box wrench and hold it something like that nice has to be smaller than this okay so um fast forward an hour or two um I didn't show any of that process and I'm super sorry because that shit was a bitch. Basically, just know, hopefully yours, if, you have, if you're doing this, is way easier. Like I said, all you gotta do is you get a 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter, right? If not, I use vice grips for this too and um, you know those pliers and pliers and all that stuff to do it. You just basically squish it down and then you pull out and then it should release. But if it's anything like this retarded thing, it's not gonna do that. You got to you have to do a lot of fighting, a lot of fights. Um now it's time to install the brand new ones. Um I'm going to put our amber uh, turn signals into them and I guess we can continue on with this install. Um basically the kit is comes with these lights and you have your mounting points, aka what adjusts your uh, lights and all that stuff. This is the same old clips that we just had a lot of trouble with 
just brand new. So um, these are the new ones. We are going to install these onto here and then the fun part, um, to get these halos to work, I am, if I'm not mistaken, these extra wires right here, all these extra wires, these extra wires have to do with the halos and we have to, I don't know what it's called, I don't really, I, I believe it's crimped, I, I don't know, something like that. We basically have to get these wires and connect them to the uh, parking harness. You clamp those things down and then you flip this little thing over and make it look nice and you're set. And then obviously, you know, sets it up. So we're gonna show, I'm gonna show y'all guys all that. But here are the lights. So first let's get our embers in here. Then we're gonna attach our little mounting points and we should be set to hook this thing up. So let's go. All right, time to unwrap these. Um, let's see. I believe it's that red side, yeah. Oh shit. Oh my God. Yes, sir. Uh, this one. Not orange, you know what I'm saying. So just get these, plug it into here. Cool. So here we got some tape. Gonna get our little lights. And let's start taping some of the stuff down, like this stuff. Tape this right there. Cool. Now we got these wires and these to work with. All right, cool. So now I gotta figure out all of this wiring right here. This white, this white, and these two blacks. I hope that these two blacks are both negative and I hope that these two whites are both power. So I think that's what's gonna go, that's, that's what's going on right now. Let's try that real quick. Alrighty guys, to further explain what's going on in this time lapse right here, um, I'm basically putting together the black, the black wires to the black wires and the blue, uh, the, the white wires with the white wires, and um, basically taping them and just like wrapping them all together by like, like the copper ends to get them ready to um, splice with the uh, parking lights. Um, basically, you splice them into the parking lights, like you, you basically, um, you put them in the blue piece, you cut them, Right, and then you just put like the um, the wires, exposed wires, into the other side, and like I like I said earlier, you um like uh what's it called? You press them together with some pliers, and you're all set. They are connected. Woo! Sheesh, man, this shit looks amazing. Here you guys have it. These are the LED halo lights installed. The wiring worked. The wiring was super simple. All that was super simple. Um, as you guys saw from time lapse, uh, again, listen, I'm going to admit right now, I'm gonna be the first person to admit. These lights were a pain in the ass to put on. You can get them. I recommend you to get them. Go for it. But if you don't know jack about wiring, you're gonna have a hard time like I did. I don't know jack about wiring. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, I just now, I started learning like, like midway through the video. I started learning about wiring and that's how I got them all to work. But here it is guys, they all work. Um, let me pop the hood real quick so you guys can see. So I have them attached to my parking lights and basically um, that's no lights. Parking lights are on, halos are on and when the full lights are on, this is what you got. You have these halogen lights. Yes, they are halogen. They're not, you know, LEDs, but we'll uh, take these out. I already have to take these lights out anyway. So when I take the lights out, I'll replace them with halogen bulbs. I just got to go buy my AutoZone. But this is the look, guys. This is it. It looks amazing. It cleans up the two-piece. I think it looks way better than the two-piece. Just some fitment issues. I'm going to get that done and fixed very soon. But for now, this is how they sit. Um, here we have the uh, lights. So basically, as you guys saw on video, all the lights are plugged into there. You cannot see Jack right now, but let me try to help you guys out. All right, there you go. So here we have these little plastic, that's a plastic tab, the plastic right there. Everything is set up. Um, I still need to do some adjusting to get these lights to look good and fit correctly, but they are in, it is doable. Um, Again, I don't say that they're horrible, 
but they do they were a pain in the ass to put on so i still need to readjust them so i'm gonna have fun with that tomorrow tonight i'm done and uh yesterday I'm, i was definitely done it was cold and i was not having it anywho it dropped like to like 45 out here yesterday in florida in south florida anywho um that is all i got for you guys um this is the lights they look beautiful they look sick uh i cannot wait to um post some more mustang content for you guys if you guys like the video let me get some like if you guys like the video make sure to like comment subscribe tell me what you guys think um what should be my next model in the car tell me what you guys think i think if the lights are worth it if you're gonna buy them um i think they are worth it to a certain extent if you know what you're doing buy them if you don't research a good bit and probably try something else first than led halos because they were kind of a pain to me you can ask my brother next video well, you can ask my brother like it, it was pretty bad but they're in that's all i care about i care about they look great they look sick anyway um again thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace